on the exam, sometimes they will ask you what is the difference between type big O and type big omega. Well, type big O is basically the slowest growing function among those listed. For example, let's say you're given multiple choice and you have to select which one is type big O. So here we have 2n squared is O n to the power of 4. 2n squared is O n to the power of 3. 2n squared is O of n to the power of 2. And 2n squared is not O of n. So because this is not big O, you can just simply ignore this one. And now you have three options left. According to our definition, type big O is the slowest growing function among those listed. We can see that n squared is the slowest one. So this one here would be the type big O. And you can even notice that this is n squared and this is n squared. So they're kind of like on the same order. What is type big omega? Well, a type big omega is the fastest growing function among those listed. And let's say you're also given four options and you have to select the one that is the type big omega. So let's see. We have 2n squared is not big omega of n to the power of 3. 2n squared is big omega of n to the power of 2. 2n squared is big omega of n. And 2n squared is big omega of the square root of n. So all of these statements are correct statements, they're true. But which one is tight big omega? Well, first of all, you see that this is not big omega, so you can safely ignore this one. Now again, if you look at the definition, tight big omega is the fastest growing function among those listed. So out of these options, the fastest one is obviously this one, right? So we're going to select this one. And you can also notice that here we have n square, and this is also n square, so they're of the same order. True or false? f of n is big O of f of n. So basically saying it's big O of itself. And the second one is f of n is big omega of f of n. It turns out that both of these statements are true. So if you use the inequality, you can see that f of n is smaller than or equal to 1 times f of n, right? So you pick c to be 1, and you can pick n naught to be 1 as well. And for this one, you also use the inequality, but this time f of n is greater than or equal to 1 times f of n. So c is equal to 1, and n naught is also equal to 1. So this is very important. f of n is both big O of itself and big omega of itself. And the last one is big theta. So big theta is actually always tight. It's always tight because it is like an equal to statement. So the formula for big theta is this. f of n is big theta of g of n if the two conditions are met. So the first condition is f of n is big O of g of n. And the second condition is f of n is big omega of g of n. And that's it for today. In the next video, I will show you how to use this formula to prove big theta.